Hi, my name is Jim Byrne, Principal Systems Engineer for Data Pivot Technologies. Today I'm going to show you a tool that Commvault has available for free called cloud.commvault.com. So to get started, log into cloud.commvault.com and it'll bring you to the first screen here. Click member login and you just type your username. Mine happens to be support. and your password. And once you've done that, you'll be on the next screen. Like I, I have um, several comm cells, so I've already logged in with uh, another browser. And I logged into the Data Pivot Technologies uh, comm cell. I just wanna show you what this looks like, and I have some reports from some of our other customers. We're currently monitoring 39 uh, comm cells with our Commvault Cloud. Now, I think the first thing I wanna go over with this is this is free. It comes with your subscription to Commvault. And the beautiful thing about it is you don't have to do anything. You just log into a cloud website and you can look at all these reports. And you know, I've used other products in the past where you had to install uh, report writers. Like I remember for uh, EMC, they had a thing called the uh, DPA, Data Protection Advisor, which include, you had to set it up in a Windows box. You had a guy come in and set it up for you. It was very complicated. And uh, Veritas, I think, has a product called Ops Manager. And again, that's got to be set up on a server in your site. It could be a VM and you have to install it yourself. This, you don't have to do anything. It's a website. And you, the nice thing about it is you can get it to it from home. You don't have to uh, VPN into your environment. And the other thing that's good is there's no cheating. <laughs> I was at a, a site one time when I was doing consulting work. And there were a lot of failures and an administrator was coming in in the morning deleting a bunch of failed backup jobs so when his boss logged in everything looked fantastic and then found out one day there was stuff wasn't being backed up so if you're a manager you know when you log into here nobody's messed with this it's just data that's uploaded from the comm cell daily and it gives you a nice report okay with that said let's just do a quick um overview of the dashboard uh, the first thing you'll see here is your support and services because everybody's always wondering when the heck does my license run out and this is our license that we get as a reseller for Commvault. ours is good through through uh, december 31st 2022. Um, the number of comm cells that we have is just one that's the one that we use in our lab for testing and we have uh, 17 servers those are all uh, basically sql servers from vmware stuff and we do we do some laptop backups for people in our company and we have a total of um, 1.17 terabytes of data protected in our library. And this over here I find is really useful. Um, if you've used other products, you're always wondering what your retentions are. And this is a really good sanity check. Like if you know you do th 30 days and you do four full backups a month, you divide this number by four and that should be about how big your environment is, you know, your front end terabytes. And then you know what you have for extended retention, say for 30 to 90 days or stuff that's out to a year. And I've been, uh, some places, it's been very handy. They, we go over here and you see a huge number and you're like, what is going on? And you go to find out that somebody had set a retention a long time ago uh, to a retention of infinity. And we would go in and actually set it back to the proper retention and age out some backups and save some tapes. So this, this is just like a good little sanity snapshot. Uh, over here is your SLA, and this shows if you're, you're meeting your SLAs for your environment. And if you're not meeting them, you can click on your meeting your missed SLA button. And in our case, I just have some VMs that I haven't scheduled yet. And when it comes up, it will tell you why you're missing the SLA. And the reason is no schedule. I haven't scheduled a bunch of this stuff. It's just been kicking them off manually. I was doing some testing with Office 365 and things like that. And we'll go back. And then here you just have basically an overview of your environment showing how many via, how many jobs you're running during the week. You know, I run about, you know, 50 a day in our lab. And then there's a health check for your environment. I'm not going to drill into this in our lab. Um, this is a service we offer. We'll actually go through this report with you. But you can actually click on these and it'll bring you into another window to tell you what's wrong with your environment and how you can fix it. And down here is probably the best feature in Commvault because I've worked for a lot of different products 
And the one thing somebody always asks you is, uh, how's my licensing look? And you have to go in and run scripts, and it's, it's a whole you know, exercise trying to figure out how big the environment is to see if you're over or under the licensing. Commvault calculates this every day, which is great. So you can just go in here real time and you can see what, what your licensing looks like. Okay, with that said, let's go over to our reports. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and just show you some of the reports that are available. And what I did is I went into some of our actual real accounts and I actually pulled up some of these reports because, you know, I don't want to show you reports from our lab. It's, it's kind of boring and you're not going to really uh, see anything. So I've got some reports over here that I pulled up. And the first one I think I'll go through is the activity report. And I pulled this from uh, down here where it says activity under the overview. And what I'll show you first, this is for a, one of our large customers. And you can see here, every day of the week, they're running about, you know, six, seven, eight hundred jobs a day. Very low failure rate. They're always right up in the 99s to the 100% success. So this is a good snapshot. So you can say how we've been doing the last two weeks. You can go right in here and you can see how you're doing. And on the bottom of the activity report, and this is for administrators so they can toot their own horn to show that they're doing their job. This is by month. And the guy that I know that runs this environment always does a really nice job. And he's running about, uh, you know, somewhere between 20, 24,000 jobs a month. And his success rate is always right up there at 99.6. And, you know, quite frankly, um, there's a, a report I'm going to show you later called a strike count. The key to any backup environment I've ever been in is every day you just go in and attack the jobs that fail. Solve them, get them out of the report. Just do what you're supposed to do and you'll have uh, good results. Most of the time if I go into some place um, and this is not looking good, it's usually through neglect. There's you know clients that people have decommissioned, haven't taken them out of the schedule and things like that. It's, it's usually not a Commvault problem. Okay, the next one I wanted to go over, we did go over the dashboard real quick with our environment, but this is a real environment here. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This is a, a typical environment of somebody who you know pays attention to, to details. And you can see here that the uh, SLA is up over 98%. They did, had 661 clients protected, and they only missed 12. Their licensing, uh, they're getting a little close. They're at 96.48 terabytes used. They have about 107 left in their licensing and if you go over here you can see that you know the short-term backups are about 165 terabytes and, and then they have like probably their month-end backups 4.53 and longer than that I've got 3.97 and then going off for a year or more about three terabytes and then over here you can see that their licensing is good through June 30th of uh, 2019 so we'll be talking to them probably in about six months and uh, down here, this is kind of handy. Um, you can go in here and you can look at your support incidents to see what's active, what's been closed, uh, if there's been any modification requests. Um, Commvault's really good. That's where a lot of their ideas come from, from the product. They come from the users. So you can actually put in a modification request to fit your environment, and they'll uh, see if they can put it into the code for you. And then these are also any kind of alerts that may have come out. And in this particular environment, we're in good shape. Okay. Next, let's go through growth and trends. Now, this is really great because um, a lot of times you'll see growth in an environment. And you're like, where the heck is this coming from? And what's nice with this is you can go through each one of these graphs and you can see the, you know, the general amount that they do over time, how much you're backing up. You can also see what types of agents you're using, maybe what group, maybe it's a, a department that's doing it, uh, or you can have you can take a look at your disk library growth. What tends to happen over time is you'll see these stay you know, pretty flat once you get into steady state uh, for a while. Um, this here is your capacity and license usage. Uh, this particular customer is uh, they're still they're still growing. They've done a lot of work, and there's some N some large NDMP backups are going to come in here soon there's been some delays getting some storage going but i know when they put their ndmp backups this thing is going to go right up and then over here you can see um, 
capacity and usage by agent. So I can see my you know Mac, Windows, virtual machines, Linux, Oracle. And then your client count. Uh, you can see how many clients are in the environment, how many you're adding and removing. So this type of a view is very useful to try to find out, you know, where is your growth coming from? Um, are you at steady state? Are you growing? That kind of a thing. It breaks it down in many different ways. And the license usage, um, to me, it's not all about the, li the license usage in terms of how much do I need to buy, but it also gives you a little summary of um, where things are going and, and how it's going in your environment. So for this particular client, I've, I'm doing just regular backups of 29 terabytes, but we're also doing quite a bit of uh, snapshots. We're doing 3.54 terabytes of snapshots. And I know these guys, what they have is some uh, large uh, NetApp filers, and they're uh, snapping some databases with IntelliSnap. And then down here, uh, this shows you your licensing for VMware, and there's a big conversion going on. They're switching from, uh, I believe it's Zen server over to um, uh, VMware, so I know that there's stuff coming in here. That's why this looks so low. They're only using 18 out of 92, so there's more load that's going to come in here later. And this shows the number of protected VMs so far, and again, we're early in the deployment. So that's why there's only 56 showing there. And this is just the number of users that are currently uh, protected using Endpoint. Uh, this is, they're just doing a little trial. They bought 10 licenses to see if some of their uh, 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 C-level people wanted to um, do laptop backups. They just started doing that. Okay, so that's pretty much it there for license usage. Uh, second one. Now, the other part of license usage is when you look at an environment, you want to know where, again, where is the data coming from? What am I doing? What's great with this is you can see how much is a file server? How much is a virtual server? What's a VM? A VM with application backup, that tells you you have a VM. Like, let's say, for example, you had Oracle. You could be snapping it, and you could be backing it up with an API. So you could be grabbing the transaction logs and those sorts of things. And then you have some VMs that are just VM only. And then they also do um, backup usage by agent type. And this tells you how many virtual servers you have, Linux, SQL, Active Directory. And then down here is just general license usage and all um, based upon counts. This is more of, uh, of a count, Commvault accounting type of thing. So this is, this is good. It shows you how, how things are breaking down in your environment. And here we have a report for peak capacity and growth. And what this particular graph will show you is what's your peak usage per month? And this is pretty typical. Uh, once you get into steady state, it'll go up and down. And, you know, Commvault's pretty cool. They'll, they'll give you a 10% buffer. Um, so as long as you stay within that range, you'll, you'll be fine. There is a little grace period. But these guys, you can see, they're, they're pretty much at steady state. All right, let's go do the next one. This is what I was talking about earlier, the strike count. And what this does, it tells you in the environment what's what's struck out three times, no backup in three days, or actually the last three times it was a complete failure, and how many times you were with uh, two misses and one miss. And you can go in and look and see what's going on, why did that happen, here somebody killed it, uh, for whatever's going on with this little test machine, no disks were found. Uh, this one ran out of space, so that's got to get fixed. So it'll tell you why the job failed and, and help you hone in on a solution to fix it. But again, this as long as you keep this report clean, all the other graphs I showed you before will look fantastic. Um, this is really good for finding uh, backups that are you know repeatedly failing. And most of the time, um, Again, there's stuff that's been decommissioned, doesn't need to be backed up anymore, and just needs to be pulled out of the schedule. Okay, and the last one we have here is throughput. And what this does, it shows you the gigabytes per hour, and it, this is actually in today's world, it looks low, and the reason for that is they do it per 24 hours. And it's really kind of just a um, an idea of how much you're doing each day, how, how's the environment performing? And you can see that these guys, it moves pretty flat going across right around 200. If you saw this going up to like 
a thousand and then down to 20 and all over the place, you know, something's going on. And then they break it down to what you're backing up for disk and what you're backing up for SQL Server, the distributed apps. But this is just kind of a good sanity check so you can see what's going on. And it also tells you uh, based on each day, you can, you can scan through each day. And I can see here on the 23rd, that's when all their, their backups are being done. So you can, you can tell by the amount of throughput. For distributed apps, they're doing a terabyte an hour. So you can tell a lot was going on on these particular days. And on the days it's low, it's usually incrementals at night. And you're only running for a few hours. So that's why these numbers come down. Because again, they just take the stuff that's backed up and divide it by 24. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So again, um, you know, these are all the various reports that are in here. We'll be glad to go over these with you um, to go through them so you can understand what's being seen. But I think one of the best things, and I'll say it again, is this is available to you for free. You don't have to set up anything to use this, and it's all very intuitive uh, to go through it. And um, I've always found this very useful when I, when I go to a customer site, I log in here and I'll look over their environment. So before I get on site, I know what's going on in the environment. And uh, it's just a great way to keep on top of things from the administrator to managers and even to uh, people, you know, who come in to help you manage the environment. Okay, and I think that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Commvault Cloud. And again, my name is Jim Byrne, Principal Systems Engineer for Data Pivot Technologies. And you can reach us at commvault at datapivottech.com. And uh, feel f uh, free to send us an email if you have any questions, and we'll be glad to get back to you. All right, thank you.